Question two will always uh, start, what impression has, and then it will be the author of the source, tried to give about, and in this case it's blood transfusions in the first half of the 19th century. So let's read the first source, of the source first of all and see what impression Dr. Blundell is trying to give. He writes, operations that need the transfusion of blood are probably rare, however in some cases they are needed otherwise the patient will die. There are also many more cases where transfusion could be used to replace large blood losses even when the patient is not dying. At the present there is no clear evidence that transfusions have been fatal, however this might be a possibility. Perhaps we should only use transfusion where it seems the only hope for the patient is that we throw blood into the veins. So the impression the overall impression that Dr. Blundell is trying to give, isn't it, is that blood transfusions are dangerous and should only be given at the last resort. All right? It's very important you sit back and you think about what is the overall impression. Don't start just picking on one or two little things that he says. So, for example, if you say the impression Dr. Blundell gives is that uh, blood, trans blood uh, tra transfusions of blood are probably rare, that won't get you very many points. You just sit back and think about the overall impression. So you structure your answer very similar to how you start structuring uh, your question one. So um, you can use I can infer or the overall impression is, or that Dr. Blundell is trying to give, the overall impression is that blood transfusions are very dangerous. And you might want to expand that point a little bit more. And that would be the first short opening paragraph of your answer. Then the second section of your answer needs to be how is he creating that impression. So he, uh, Dr. Vandell is creating this um, uh, impression by saying uh, here isn't he, however in some cases they are needed otherwise the patient will die. Um, He's saying down here, isn't he, perhaps we should use transfusions where it seems uh, the only hope for patients we throw blood into their veins. Um, uh, and he also says here, doesn't he, um, transfusions have been fatal. However, this, there's some, sorry, there's, at present there is not, no clear evidence that transfusion has been fatal. However, this might be a possibility. So your second section is uh, similar to your, your second uh, sentence in question one. Um, so uh, this impression is created because in the source it says and then you can add a couple of quotations. So the overall impression is that Dr. Blundell thinks that blood transfusions should only be uh, very dangerous and should only be done at a large, as a last resort. This impression is created because in the source it says, and you could quote uh, this last line here, perhaps we should only use transfusion where it seems the only hope for the patient is that we throw blood into his veins. And then the third part of your answer, and one which they don't directly ask for in the question, is to uh, explain maybe why Dr. Blundell would be saying this. Um, so you could say uh, Dr. Blundell wants to give this impression because uh, in his experience transfusions are a very difficult procedure or maybe he has heard ex um, tales of people dying from blood transfusions. Okay, so in a nutshell, question two will be what impression has the author tried to give about something? You start the answer by saying the overall impression they're trying to give is, then you select one or two quotations um, from the source, maybe explain them a little, which, uh, which shows how that impression is being created, and then if you can, uh, a little bit on the end, suggesting why the author might be wanting to give that impression.